Imagine a pulsating audio-visual warehouse rave where every beat, every synth, and every drop comes to life in a dazzling light show. Now, picture creating that entire scene yourself from the ground up. By the end of this video, that's exactly what you'll know how to do. I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my latest project, a reactive visualizer that transforms music into an electrifying virtual light show. Using the powerhouse combo of Unreal Engine and Ableton Live, connected through a MIDI to OSC workflow, I've created a virtual rave that responds in real time to every nuance of the music. Whether you're a VJ looking to level up your skills, a producer wanting to add a visual punch to your tracks, or just someone fascinated by the intersection of music and new media, this walkthrough is for you. I'll break down each step of the process, from setting up the environment, to the MIDI routing, and programming the intricate light behaviors in Unreal Engine. To get started, I constructed the environment using assets from a few different resources. The main two being Kitbash 3D and Big Medium Small, specifically the Machinery and Industrial Zone packs. These not only give me the modular set pieces to build the environment, but also the props and character model as well that populate the environment. From here, it all became about designing the layout of the room, which was pretty simple in this case, as it's just one long environment that stretches off into the darkness. After the layout of the room was sorted out, I then proceeded to placing props, as well as positioning the lights on the rafters. This was arranged in a 7x14 row that extends out into the distance so I can get some z-depth once I start triggering the lights on and off, especially with the exponential height fog enabled. There were also some lights placed on the left and right side of the room to accent the snare, hi-hat, and wobble bass parts, along with an extra row on the ceiling for another wobble bass layer. I felt like a tritone color palette of white, red, and blue worked well for the instruments in this song in reference to my synesthesia, so I assigned the color of the lights to the instrumental variables from that perspective, which then leads to arranging the lights on the ceiling in different patterns so I could keep things constantly changing and therefore more dynamic, as opposed to a looping static light setup. These lights were set up with blueprints that allowed me to trigger the light and emission intensity as well as the outer radius cone for things such as the wobble base. This was achieved by using OSC PAR along with some Max for Live devices that were created by the SEM and Tris AV Club. These tools allow you to convert your MIDI and macro data into OSC data for Unreal to then parse, which can then be used in various blueprints so you can trigger events, effects, and more. For instance, with OSC PAR, you can map some modulation to one of the macro controllers, like an LFO or sample and hold, and then use that data to control the radius cone of the light. Or in the case of this video, I mapped out the automation data of the wobble base I made on my Dirty Wave Mate synthesizer, and then used OSC PAR to control various parameters such as the previously mentioned radius cone. With all of that being said, that more or less concludes how I set up my reactive visualizer using Ableton Live and Unreal Engine. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to experiment with your own reactive visualizers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.